Welcome on into week 13 of the NFL, and these are my week 13 picks. Week 12, I was 2-1. and one. I'm now 21-15 and 15 overall. I'm going to pick three games for you again this week. And again, as always, these picks are for entertainment purposes only, not to be taken seriously. They do not factor in any point spread. They're picked as outright wins only. First game, Chiefs versus Atlanta. This is a tough game to pick, but I'm going to go there. I'm going to pick it. You know, Atlanta is 32 and a half points per game. That's the best in the NFL. Kansas City is 5-3 and three, all-time versus the Falcons. Now, Kansas City went to overtime in a very emotional game last week against Denver. Okay, now they're traveling in a bit of cross-country. With a game against the Raiders on deck. Um, but first, Kansas City, they have to go against the land. And Kansas City is getting back Macklin. You have Hill. Hill is turning into a monster. But Kyle Shanahan, I think, is a difference maker for Atlanta play calling. Yes, he is that type of difference maker. They're going to run that football. They're going to take advantage of the soft underbelly of the Chiefs. It's game of the week, possibly. You know, when you look at Matt Ryan, he's a top five MVP right now. Uh, I just think, based on emotions, what happened last week with the Chiefs, I don't think they could do it against, um, you know, the Falcons this week. Now, I know the Falcons, they're, they're, they're crazy on defense. They're going to get you fumble. They're going to get fumble recoveries. They're going to get interceptions. The special teams is pretty good, you know, in the Chiefs. But against the Falcons, uh, I just think it's too much. First game, give me the Falcons. Second game, you have Packers versus the Texans. Now, the Packers... Last week, they beat the uh, Eagles fairly easily. Aaron Rodgers looked like Aaron Rodgers last week. He looked tremendous. Him and Devontae Adams connected all night, all night. Over 300 yards in throwing for um, Aaron Rodgers. Gordy Nelson, bunch of catches as well. Aaron Rodgers was spreading the ball around. Even you had a rushing touchdown for the Packers last week. And, you know, honestly, I, I smell, I smell a Packer run coming. At least let me think that for this week. My opinion might change after this game, depending how they perform. But I smell it. I smell it. You're going against the uh, the Texans. Be honest with us here. The Texans are not that good. They're in a horrible division. They have found... They thought they had found that answer in Brock, Brock Osweiler in the offseason. He's clearly not the answer for quarterback. The Texas offense is mediocre. Very mediocre. The Packers defense... Injuries galore, depleted. But the Texans' offense is so mediocre, it won't even be able to exploit that Green Bay defense. Game two, give me the Packers. Aaron Rodgers continues his mini run uh, with the Packers. Game three, the Bucks Two wins. You know, they beat Seattle. They beat the Bears. Now they travel across the country against the most talented bad team. The most talented bad team in NFL history in the Chargers. The Chargers are 5-6. and six. They have a terrific quarterback. They have good players on offense and defense in the Chargers. They have scored over 300 points. Have the Chargers and they're still in last place. And the reason why is because the Chargers have blown four games with leads in the last five minutes of the game. 
The Bucks are coming in. They're feeling good about themselves. Young world beaters, six and five. But they're going to hit a wall against the Chargers. Now, look, I wouldn't be surprised if the Chargers fumble the ball away, throw the ball away, do something because that's what they've done all year. But I'm going to go with my butt, with my butt, with my gut because the the Chargers are a better team and they're going to beat the Bucks. So my three picks are the Chargers, Packers, Falcons. Hope all as well. I can't believe it's already December. Enjoy the games. Until next time.